What's good, everybody? Welcome to Whole Views. Thank you for clicking that thumbnail. My name is Corey, and today we're going to be talking about Godzilla x Kong, the new empire. And what we want to discuss today, what we want to know from you all in the comment section is, what do you care about most when you watch these movies? So honestly, when I watch anything that is Godzilla or King Kong or any of the MonsterVerse stuff, I still care about the characters. I still care about the story that you're telling with the characters that we're presented with. The human element is of vital importance to me when I'm watching any of the MonsterVerse stuff. And so when I look back on it, we have Godzilla from 2014. That one did really good with the people, even giving us a very fantastic story, still did very good with the people. Kong Skull Island, incredibly entertaining. Good job with the people. You had John C. Riley, you had Tom Hiddleston, you had a lot of faces that were recognizable. I really enjoyed Kong Skull Island. I thought they did a pretty good job with the people. Monarch, that is on Apple TV+. Plus. It is a great show. The thing that makes the show a great show is not Godzilla and the monsters. It is the weaving of people and their history weaved into this monster verse and it connects the Kong Skull Island movies and it connects the newer Godzilla King Kong movies and this is all connected and I really like it but the thread that holds it together is that family story that your soul is on within the first few episodes that's real good television and even when you go overseas Godzilla minus one that was a great 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 film, one of the best films from last year. And one of the things I like so much about it is that it follows one character's very tragic story and his experience with King Kong being basically the big bad, being the problem that needed to be solved. I'll just be frank here. Godzilla x Kong, the new empire is trash in comparison to all those things. Now, I'm not saying that this movie is trash on my scales. On my scales is just all right. And the reason why I say it's just all right is because this movie does not take itself serious. It really wants to be a fun, good time at the theater. And if you watched it in theaters, I'm sure you thought it was a fun, good time at times. But man, do they have some really stupid, useless, pointless humans in this thing. Just looking at the human performances and looking at the way the humans are shoehorned into this story, it just feels very unserious. There's so much exposition dumping that the people do. There's so much inexplicable things that humans are able to know and just blurt out for the sake of having some exposition in this moment. It's horrible stuff when you watch it unfold. But is it fun to see Godzilla destroy several monsters? Yes, it is. Is it fun to see King Kong swinging through and setting traps and beating other apes with a miniature ape. Like all that stuff is great. Good time. Throw popcorn in my face. Chew it. Enjoy it. Turn your brain off. That That is what this movie is. But man, it's not good as a film if we just talking about films. Uh, when we talk about ranking the Godzilla's this is at the bottom for me, near the bottom, because King of the Monsters, bad. This new empire, bad. Godzilla vs. Kong, the 2020 joint, bad. All that stuff was bad, and it's bad not because Godzilla is bad or because Kong is bad. It's bad because the humans are poorly written, poorly acted in some cases, have horrible dialogue, and really almost serve no purpose for the sake of the story. This story is about, or these stories tend to be about Godzilla and what does he have to do next? Like, why does he have to show up next? All the other human elements are just like, blah, 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 blah. We need Godzilla. And then you get Godzilla. Blah, 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 blah. Gravity. I've been here for five minutes and now I know how gravity works with all their machinery. And I just looked around at some hieroglyphics and I read their entire backstory without showing any of it or knowing any of these hieroglyphics and never really being here before and discovering these people for the first time. Like just, just nonsense happening over and over and over again. It's and it's all the people, all the animal stuff, you know, Kong and the Scar King guy with the whip. Like, all that stuff is cool and fun. The human stuff in between to get me to the next fun part. Very forgettable. 
But those are my thoughts on all that stuff. You let me know, what do you care about when you watch this? Do you even care that the humans are stupid and useless and pointless? Or am I just, you know, nitpicking? Do you feel like I'm nitpicking? I don't feel like I am. I feel like it's pretty obvious that no one come here to see Brian Tyree do what he did. Or, you know, back in King of the Monsters, nobody came to the theater to see Millie Bobby Brown in that one. Like, we, we didn't care. We came to see the monsters and, and we saw the monsters. Uh, personally, if I'm being honest, I'm tired. I'm tired of the monsters uh, because you're not giving me anything meaningful or anything to care about as I'm watching it. But that's just me. Let me know what you think in those comment sections if you choose to do so. And that's all we have for this one, y'all. Enjoy yourself. Guard your heart and go watch something good.